I don't know about you guys, but I can dream like a motherfucker. I'll be sitting in the car uh, at the gym, uh, just doing quite literally anything. And I can daydream about the most amazing aspects of life possible. And that feels better than any dopamine rush I can get from scrolling on Instagram or watching YouTube videos or Netflix or anything. There is nothing like letting your imagination run wild. It is truly a euphoric feeling that I think most of society is starting to lose today, especially children, because they are getting exposed to overloading their technological system by at such a young age when parents are saying hey the solution to you crying is shoving an ipad in your face and giving you uh sweet uh snacks that is i think going to have extreme long-term consequences on uh, future generations because i'm sure if you guys are my age you remember before we had <laughs> i'm saying before we had technology but before I know I got my first iPod Touch or uh, PS4 or PS3, I think is the first thing I got, I would sit there with my stupid um, WWE stars and I would wrestle, I would wrestle them around for hours and I would have the best fights or full on gameplay going on in my head. And that's what kids I think are supposed to be doing, letting your creativity run wild and people have different levels of creativity naturally but every single thing is like a muscle the more you work it out the better you're going to get and i used to think that i just wasn't creative and i couldn't imagine things because i never thought about different situations out in my head all i would do from freshman year to senior year of high school or maybe junior year of high school senior year i stopped is I would, after school, I'd come home, I'd play video games with my buddy, I'd go to the gym and then go play more video games, probably watch some anime. And I would repeat that every single day, probably masturbate and watch some porn as well. Where is the time when you were going to be thinking? There wasn't any. And I did that for three years straight. So what results did that have? I was a dumb motherfucker. Because if you don't spend any time thinking, you will not be able to produce any thoughts. And that's just the way it is. And now I tr I work online. So anytime I'm not working, I'm not perfect. I still spend way too much time on my phone. I'm not, <laughs> Before someone calls me out on this thing that I'm still an iPad kid, I know that. I know that. But it's just simple things. Like I no longer listen to music in the car. And I've actually cut out a lot of podcasts during that time as well. Because I think it's important to schedule times when you can just sit and think. Whether it's... Uh, doing cardio or driving or doing a, a task that you can go on autopilot for. When I can go on autopilot and I sit back and just think, man, it feels amazing. And I don't not looked into too much manifestation stuff, but the more clearly I can think about something in my future, like not just, oh, I'm going to make X amount of money, but I can see the exact steps that I, I will take to make that amount of money and the exact people that, I, that I'll be working with. I don't know if this will happen, but I can so clearly, uh, unbelievably clearly see myself talking in a room with Alex Hermosi telling him what I would do to fix his YouTube problem. Uh, and you wouldn't imagine how vividly I can see that or the exact steps I am going to take from a, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to X, Y, and Z, and then going numbered one to 50 after that, the exact steps that I would take to increase my income by doing these things. And I know if I did these small tasks, my income is definitely going to go up and I can turn that into passive income. That is strictly because I spend all day thinking about the game all day and <laughs> my time off. My brain just wants to think about the game more, the game of life, really, because I'm trying to dislodge myself from this stupid phone, even though after this, I do want to watch an episode of anime. Call me a geek. Fuck you. Uh, that, <laughs> that is definitely my guilty pleasure. Uh, or scroll on Instagram for a bit. But if I just think of how empty I feel inside afterwards, I never 
will scroll on Instagram and get locked in one of those doom loops for an hour and then say, wow, I feel good right now. No, it's always like, dude, where the hell were you, what's your mind at? And then something that really makes me want to separate from the phone more and more is whenever I think about myself in the future doing these things, it is always me living life in some aspect. The dreams that I cultivate in my mind for myself always have to do with the real world. It is not this stupid thing. Anybody else, when they are daydreaming, if you do think about playing video games, if that is what you are daydreaming, then I think that's what you should strive for. It is what, if you could cultivate your perfect life in your head, and I do this so much, and I don't know if manifestation works, but I do think it is, I, I don't even know what it is exactly. But I know when I think through the steps that I need to take and then uh, actually pursue on those steps, it works like a motherfucker. It, it truly does. And if I'm just walking blindly without in a playbook in my head that I should be following, I get nowhere. It's kind of like if you were going to go to the gym and if you have a structured routine, if you, let's say you're going to hit a, uh, a push workout. You're going to do, you're going to warm up for 10 minutes. Then you're going to hit a, a four by six on the bench, trying to maintain the same weight. Then you're going to do dumbbell flies, uh, incline press, uh, maybe some push ups, some shoulder press, some triceps, some dips, some uh, kick downs. You, you have this, you have the sets and reps already organized in your head and written down for every single workout that you're going to do. If you go in there and you follow that, you are going to see results. And you are going to do the all the motions that you told yourself you were going to do. Whereas a lot of times I go into the gym, I say, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then maybe I do a few sets of chest. I'm like, oh, that feels good. And then I'm like, eh, I don't know. I'll do a few sets of pull-ups. I don't know. Maybe I do something. You're unstructured. And that leads to mediocre results. And the only way I can come to these conclusions as to where my business life needs to lead is by thinking through these situations. And it's fun because <laughs> whether I like it or not, I see the reward at the end. And I'm like the fucking donkey chasing the carrot where I want that damn reward. And that works for me. So if you say it's stupid, fuck you. I don't care because it works for me. It's what is the best diet, right? It's the one that works for you. And the, what is the best workout? It's the one that you can maintain over a long period of time. And if right now this is allowing me to maintain this for a long period of time, I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll change my view on that someday, but not now. And I would like to know, I would like to see studies done as to how clearly you can see the steps needed to reach your goal and these probabilities of you achieving that goal. I think it is going to be a very tight correlation. Let's say if I'm going to go into an incredibly important business call that I know I need to crush and I prepare and I think through every single step that every single thing that we're going to talk to, potential questions that are going to be asked, uh, me asking them questions, how I'm going to respond, how I think they're going to answer. If I think through that conversation and kind of have it in my head and play it through, I crush it. I fucking crush it. Whereas if I'm like, oh, let's just talk to this guy. A lot of the times it is not as smooth. I've done this enough times and I know the problem that needs to be solved for a lot of these guys that I'm talking to, to where now I, I prepare less. But depending on the importance, if I do spend that extra time to prepare and think through what we're going to talk about, the results are mind-blowingly different. And I can only imagine instead of spending 20, 30 minutes preparing for one of those, what if you spent 10 hours? I don't know. That would be remarkable. And that is something that someone like Alex Ramosi, I bring him up a lot because he is a current, I would say, idol of mine. He's a 30-something-year-old guy making $100 million a year. And he's at his very, everything that he says makes sense to me on a very core level. And I respect him a lot for what he's done. So he was the one that really made me think in much long, la larger time increments. And I'm still not doing that. I should be thinking in hundreds of hours, but I'm not. I'm maybe thinking of 10 hours. 
that's probably due to my lack of experience. If I do this for another 10 years, I think my time horizons and my time increments will go up drastically. And I, I'm trying to work on that, but it's tough when I have so such few experience working massive amounts of effort towards something. Because I noticed that my effort when I put in an hour or a day into something, I would think, wow, that's a lot of effort. But if I spend a week on something, I'm like, wow. The results from a week to a day, that's, there is no comparison. And then I spent a good three weeks on something. And the amount of preparation that I put in working on something for a week compared to a day compared to one week was catastrophically different. So what if I spend three years cultivating something? Fuck. I mean, how good would you get? And that is really what I'm trying to do with this thousand day journey is to cultivate as much as humanly possible. And I'm starting to have a clear idea of why this is so important. I never plan on selling anything because I think most of these people have are grifters who are 21 years old. I mean, I'll think I'll be 22 or 23. And by the time this is over, the people who are that age selling you a course or a, or a website are complete grifters because they don't have enough life experience to run a massive business to where they can sell you on how to run one. Whereas the people that I want to work for, the next guy that I'm working for is a legit billionaire. He has $2 billion of real estate. So that is someone who I think is a valuable person that I would, I would buy their stuff because guess what? They've done it. He's a 60 something year old guy and he's walked the walk his entire life. So if he wants to sell me information, I'm going to buy it. The other guy, if the federal reserve has a problem and they fuck everything up, the guy that they're going to go to is this guy that I'm working with. So those are the people that I want to work with. And what I realize is I think I can recruit some incredible talent of young, hungry minds if I continue this that want to learn as much as possible and maybe hire them in the future. Right now, I'm not in that position, but I think that is where this is going to lead because I don't know. I'm spitballing here. Day 20-something out of 1,000. Let me know if you guys dream like motherfuckers in your head because I love it. And... I think it helps me in so many ways. The anti-dopamine, the amount of adrenaline that I get, the energy levels that is produced, the serotonin that is released, everything that I think people are striving for on their phone, they I get from thinking and daydreaming about uh, different subjects. And a lot of it's geeky ass shit too. But it's fun. So, I don't know.